We're here in New York this time at the uh, first of the U.S. series, let's say that. Yes. Um, and it's the fifth iteration of the Question Time with Data Art. We're talking to Greg Abbott. Greg, the, the theme for today of the question is, where is the innovation in business travel? Which is a tough question and a big question. It is, and that's exactly why we asked it, because we're trying to figure out ourselves where the innovation is going to come next. I think we've observed several megatrends uh, in the industry. Um, the consumers, com consumerization of IT, uh, for number one, of course, the business travel, and for better or for worse, has kind of always been uh, a runner-up in terms of uh, its innovation efforts to leisure. Uh, and so we see that um, the way that the suppliers are pushing things uh, more direct and this uh, mega trend of consumers, consumerization in IT um, is bringing sort of a, an environment that we think is going to bring some innovation in business travel. So we decided to get a group of folk together to be able to, uh, to debate the conversation. So like all good companies, they, they uh, will always succeed when they take the lead from their clients and their customers trying to solve their problems. Yeah. So I, I, I get a sense that business travel is an area that you're spending more and more time in. It is, and I think that you're you're right. You're right that any any uh, any successful business is going to pay attention to its customers. And business travel, for better or for worse, is a complex environment. There's a B to B to C, if you will, if the traveler is the end consumer, and so there's a number of customers, and uh, and then there's this, there's also. Um, the, the vendors that are involved, the distribution channels. And so it makes for a sort of complex ecosystem. But what we do notice is that those that are sort of serving the travelers are finally sort of taking a real focus and interest. And again, I think that's largely driven by the consumers that are demanding it. They're tired of being forced into regulatory sort of compliance. And they are, they, they, there's actually a term for it in business travel. It's called rogue when you go outside of policy. And so I think that these, that a lot of the, uh, companies that are working in this space are, are realizing and hearing uh, and listening and starting to work with travelers on how to make it more flexible, how to make it less intrusive and less, less of an obstacle. So tell me about uh, a little bit what's going to be different between uh, Question Time, which we've seen four times in the UK, and now our first uh, version here in the US. Well, I think that obviously London is um, a focal point, an easy destination to get to. There's a lot of companies concentrated in that particular, obviously, the geographic challenge in the U.S. But New York is a sort of uh, the, the flagship city to have something like this in, and so we chose New York. We're also headquartered here, um, and I think the, the difference in, in general participation is going to be that there's going to be a broader um, uh, involvement from... Um, a community that that is not just focused in the area that we're talking about tonight. So it'll take it'll bring in a range of candidates from, you know, startups all the way through to mature mature companies. And then tell me a bit about our panelists this evening. Obviously, we've uh, a, a broad mix, but a lot of people obviously based here in New York, based in the U.S. Well, yeah, we, we put together quite a panel. I'm excited. Um, uh, people that have been in business travel for many, many years. Uh, we've got uh, representatives from two of the largest uh, uh, travel management companies um, on the globe, which is fantastic. We've got uh, somebody who really provides a lot of the glue for data and information flow between companies uh, with Matt Orego from uh, Cornerstone. Um, and then we've got our sort of business traveler representative in Chip Connolly from Infor. And uh, so Chip, we hope, uh, plays a little bit of the devil's advocate and brings the, uh, the consumer, the client face uh, to the panel. So it should be an exciting evening. And last question, what I've noticed at the, the previous uh, question times is that it's a panel discussion. And from that, you don't get agreement. You get many different voices, many different opinions, which is good. Absolutely. That's kind of what, why we're putting this together is because we want to have the debate. We want to hear what some of the uh, thought leaders in the industry um, are, are focused on and what's coming for 2017 so that we can all prepare and start working on it. Part of the, the, the way that we run this is that uh, all of the audience brings in a question and the moderator kind of facilitates the conversation. The panelists don't know the questions and so we're all kind of put on the spot to come up with a, a quick answer. Sometimes right, sometimes wrong doesn't really matter, but it usually uh, brings for some engagement and and some real uh, uh, debate within the, the uh, evening. Thank you, Greg. Thanks.